Arts. I'm joined by crime expert Calvin Rafadi uh, to help us unpack this. Calvin, good morning and thank you so much for your time here on ENCA today. Let's start with what we can read into the state of policing with this latest incident. Uh, morning, and uh, once again, condolences to the family. Uh, you know, communities, what we can say, they fear for their lives, and uh, they are under siege. So I think uh, what we need to highlight today is, uh, you know, to give some solutions uh, and remind the police on what method they can use to tackle this particular crime. Because we've been singing that crime intelligence is missing, and now we understand that it doesn't have a permanent head of crime intelligence. Uh, whereby you get some acting uh, brigadiers in that position. But what we can say is, let us deal with the aftermath. Let's guide one another on what to do to go forward and keep our community safe. Absolutely. Uh, also, let's talk about the issue of um, illegal firearms. We're hearing our reporter, Desi Pamandla, saying that that specific community says that it is heavily armed. They're asking for regular raids. Why do you think it is that we are simply not winning the war against illegal firearms? 